As if large red hot foil stamping and a unique floating saddle stitch binding weren't enough, this keepsake literally lights up. Hi everybody, I'm Sabine Lenzi, founder of Paper Spakes with your weekly dose of paper inspiration. When an advertising agency wanted to commemorate not only the retirement of one of its co-founders, but also the closing of its doors after 20 years, Bohanes designed a keepsake that would remind all who received it of just how much had been accomplished in these two decades. What makes this two-book slipcase set so special is just how much handwork went into its making. More on that later. With little more direction from agency Collins, Haynes and Lolly than to simply tell a physical story about the agency and the retirement of co-founder Nancy Haynes, the project encouraged Bo to bring together his passions for paper, finishing, storytelling and interactivity in design. The package is eye-catching without being overpowering, nicely balancing the whiteness of silver more accent opaque paper with gray and red highlights. A simple red ribbon? gives it an additional bespoke quality. On the front of the slipcase is an illustration of a vintage radio digitally printed CMYK by Subtle Impressions on a wrap of Silvamo accent opaque white smooth cover over a box made from the same paper. Gray and red accents and a die cut where the radio dial would be are complemented by the words you may have heard 20 years ago, setting the stage for a brief but effective story. Running your finger along the side of the box, I stumble across, of all things, a switch. Sliding it suddenly brings the radio dial to life with an intense red glow. Turning the package around reveals two books held in place by the red ribbon. The covers of both feature red hot foil on the spine and cover, continuing the red and white theme of the slipcase. However, there was so little pressure applied in the hot foiling process that the whole cover is super smooth. And I had a hard time believing it was hot foil stamping until, well, you see in a moment. Even more intriguing is the binding technique used, which the designer describes as a floating saddle stitch. Subtle Impression scored the covers and then saddle stitched the interior pages in the center of this false spine with white staples that match the cover. Voila! The best of both worlds. Inside Volume 1, A New Era, a gatefold opens up to reveal a tiny pop-up typewriter printed and hand-assembled by the designer. Red and black illustrations and type throughout continue this project's minimalist but effective color palette. Volume 2, A Look Back, also bound by Floating Saddle Stitch, opens with a powerful spread of two full-color photos of Nancy Haynes, a recent headshot on one side and one from 1968. But let's get back to the slipcase. With the ribbon untied, the front opens trifold style. Inside each panel features minimalist illustrations that demonstrate how the agency has followed the evolution of communications over the years. With the opening of each panel, the bright red LED glow of the radio dial becomes first the illuminated screen of a phone and then that of a digital billboard, all accomplished by the strategic placement of three die cuts and a sheet of CTI paper's Glamour Natural Red Translucent Vellum. But you and I are curious people and we want to know the source of the glow. The secret? An LED light circuit hand-built by Bo and powered by a 3 volt battery all cleverly housed inside a closed compartment in the slipcase. When you consider that nearly 70 of these keepsakes were produced, you can truly appreciate how labor-intensive this project really was. Three different versions were distributed to clients, reps and others who played an important role in the agency's history, but only two were distributed in this special Founders presentation box. A quick peek inside explains why. The keepsake package arrives nestled snugly in a white foam insert matching the color and gloss of the presentation box. Next to it is one of two dies actually used to hot fault stamp the covers of the two volumes. As you can imagine, this piece has won numerous creative awards, but if you ask Bo, having it featured for Pello paper and print geeks to enjoy is the highest honor. As you can see, hot foil stamping 
really adds that extra special touch to your printed project. But there are so many other ways in which you can now add foil to your work, even on a modest budget or for short print runs. Get a quick overview of all your traditional as well as digital options and download a free foil sheet sheet right now. Did you enjoy this video? Then please subscribe to our channel. And of course, it would be amazing if you shared with all your friends. And keep sending me your fabulous printed pieces. I love to feature them.